I worked on Daily Collegian for three years, and then I uh, became managing editor of the Daily Collegian. And, and of course, my other major experience uh, was meeting Ella. <laughs> The demands on the assets of the university and the budget is, are great. The extra things largely come from the alumni who are willing to make major gifts. You know, we all like to feel that we can make a difference. And so as you watch these programs grow, there's a great deal of gratification there. In our case, we like to focus on a program and watch it grow rather than give and just walk away from it. That's the okay. wonderful part of it. I was very pleased to be selected in 1999 as the first uh, holder of the Larry and Ellen Foster chair. They uh, are making a contribution to another generation uh, of journalists, public relations folks, and film and video uh, that we teach in the College of Communications. Endowments uh, enable the uh, college to uh, broaden its offerings to uh, the students. Larry and Ellen's gift uh, made the Page Center possible. It wouldn't have existed otherwise. There's absolutely no question that a sizable number of Penn State and college students have uh, benefited from the generosity of the Fosters. I'm sure there's many students out there who would not have been able to uh, attend Penn State or would have found it very difficult to attend Penn State without the uh, support of the Fosters and the many other people like them. I write for the Daily Collegian. I um, tried out last last fall whenever I was a freshman, so I made it onto the staff and on the art staff. Um, I have to say that I really appreciate the help that the Fosters have given me to get me through Penn State and to give me this opportunity to be at such a great school.